Hey guys, Ultimate Toy Collector here. So, we are finally taking a look at Star-Lord from the Marvel Legends Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 series with the Build-A-Figure for Titus. Uh, now, obviously, we see that this character or this figure does not have a Build-A-Figure piece, but um, he's still part of the uh, Guardians wave, so we're definitely going to take a look at him. All right, movie's hitting soon. Can't wait to see it. Uh, let's take a look at the packaging. Packaging is regular Marvel Legends window-style packaging. Uh, we have Star-Lord down here, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, because uh, this is the movie version. This is the Chris Pratt version. Uh, Marvel Legends and the Guardians uh, symbol up here. Illustration of Star-Lord on the side. Flip it around the back. And... We have uh, a picture of the Star-Lord figure. When the fate of the universe hangs in a balance, Star-Lord is ready to defend the galaxy from interstellar bad guys. Um, go down here. We have all seven figures. Six of them are needed to build Titus. And just take a look at it. Pretty cool. Comes with alternate head. And comes with his blasters. Um, and it's a different figure than we saw from the original movie. So that's uh, that's definitely a plus. So let's open the package and take a look at the figure. All right, so here we have our Chris Pratt Star-Lord out the package. Uh, so we see we have an alternate head here with his helmet on. This is the unmasked and the mask. So let's see how easy it is. Dropped one of his blasters. So it's actually pretty easy just to change the head on this. Pops off. Uh, the peg isn't really all that hard to mess with. So it looks pretty good. We're going to pop that back off again, and we're going to put this on. All right. Blasters. I have the blasters. If you look on the side of the leg here, there's a little peg. You can attach that to the peg there on both sides. So his blasters can sit on his hips. Um, and then you can just pull them off and put them in his hand as you need. So a nice little, if you have him posed, you could just be like little John Wayne style. Let's see, he could hold these in his hands relatively easy, it seems like. As long as, let's see, as long as the plastic uh, flexes for us a little bit. There we go. He's got two in the pink and one in the stink. Oh, all right. So we're going to take these out of his hand right there. And we're going to take a look at the figure real quick. So... Uh, good job on the jacket. Uh, nice detailing. It's, it kind of gives you a little uh, throwback to like a Michael Jackson jacket with all them zippers. If you look up close, you could see the texture in the jacket, which I think is phenomenal. And the texture re relays over to the arm on um, portions of the sleeve. The elbow, the lower portion down here. So it's supposed to look like one of those older leather jackets, which I like. All right. Um, got a cool little shirt on here. Not sure what it's supposed to say. Oh, oh, it's yeah. Maybe yeah, baby. I don't know. It's supposed to say something, but it's pretty cool. And uh, the detailing to the pants and the boots. Uh, all that's there also. Pretty smooth on the sculpting. Looks pretty good. Paint apps are also smooth. So the biggest thing, well, besides the fact that they got rid of the trench coat and they made it a shorter leather jacket, which is a lot better. Um, I think it looks a lot better on the figure. Uh, now, if we go up, and we take a look at the, the face, now, sometimes Hasbro hits it right on the head with the face sculpts, uh, with the figures. Other times, not so much. 
uh, the movie characters for the Marvel uh, have been pretty good. The Star Wars ones have been a little iffy on some of the characters. Um, not all, but some. Now, the likeness of Chris Pratt on this figure, I think they did a, a great job. Looks phenomenal. The first figure from uh, the first movie, um, if you look at this, that one compared to this, uh, doesn't even look like the same person. So, this new head sculpt, if for nothing more than just the head sculpt, uh, this figure is worth getting because of that. Uh, they did a great job. So, kudos to Hasbro. Good job. Nice improvement on the face sculpt. like to see that. All right. Uh, so now let's just get into the, uh, the paint apps on this are, are pretty good, pretty smooth. Um, sculpting is definitely a lot better. Um, they did a great job and articulation. So even with the jacket there, let's see if we can, hmm. All right. So we do have a ball joint ball hinge joints in the shoulders um, but it's a little stiff I don't know if it's because of the leather jacket um, but a little stiff getting the arms so without pushing on it this is about where I'm at with the lifting the arms up we can get them over the head and we can get them down all right we have bicep swivel on both sides we do have double hinged elbows. Again, Hasbro makes our, uh, you know, the Marvel team, double hinged elbows on all the male figures almost, but not on the females. I still can't understand it. Anyway, I'm gonna straighten that out, bring that down, all right? Um, even with the jacket here, we do have a swivel and a hinge on the, um, the wrist and the hands. So good there. Even with the jacket, we do have an ab crunch. So he's able to crunch down. And even if he's jumping or getting blown up, good little flex there. We also have a waist swivel. So we are awesome there. Ball joint at the hips. Thigh cut. Double hinge knees. And we even have a boot cut swivel. Whoa, we got it. We got a boot swivel. All right, so we go down and let's see. We got a hinge. We have a hinge and a pivot for the, uh, the ankle and the foot. So articulation, full articulation on this character. So... Add its sculpting, extra head, um, good articulation. I like it. I like it a lot. So get rid of your old Star-Lord. Put him in the collection. You got a Chris Pratt up update. And uh, definitely happy to see this figure. Um, and, well, if you already completed Titus, you don't need uh, this figure to round out that wave. Um, but... You do need them to replace the old crappy head uh, Star-Lord. So, all right. Thank you for watching, guys. Like the video. Share it. Um, leave me a comment. Let's see what other characters you would like to see in the near future. Um, and check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, The Ultimate Toy Collector. Until next time, guys. Happy hunting.